Hi guys, I'm Sakara and I'm one of the co-founders of Blog Ads. Today we're going to show you guys how to watermark your photos in a bunch. So if you have a blog or you put up a lot of pictures on the internet um, with Pinterest and everything, people are starting to steal pictures. So you want to make sure that you watermark your photos to be credited for your work. So what's annoying is having to individually put your logo on, in your pictures. So we're going to show you guys how to do it all in a bunch today. So let's start. Here we are in Photoshop CS6. I'm going to go to File, Open, and select one picture that I want to watermark. I'm going to select this one. Perfect. Now let's all go to Window. Actions and then this little palette will open up. Now you'll see that there's a folder that says watermark. That's because I created it. So I can organize my actions by folder. So if I have any other logos that I want to use for watermarking, I'm going to put it all in there. But right now I don't have any actions created. So we're going to hit this little guy on the bottom next to the trash can to create a new action. Okay, I'm going to type in logettes watermark. And the second I hit record, it's going to record every action that I make. So moving forward, I can apply all those actions on all my pictures without hit, having to do anything. So I'm going to hit record and boom, you'll automatically see that I'm currently recording my actions. Okay. So next we're going to go to file, place, and let's grab that logo that you want to use for watermarking your photos. So here I have it on my desktop. I'm going to hit place. You'll see that the logo will appear. I'm going to hold shift, scale it down. And remember, you want to scale it down to what you want to apply to all your pictures because it's just going to repeat the same thing. So the sizing that you're going to make on the first one is going to be applied to all the other ones. I'm going to put it right here. Perfect. And I'm going to hit enter or you can hit the check mark at the top. Perfect. Now we have to stop the recording. Perfect. Now I'm done right there. So remember, if you're going to watermark all your vertical pictures, you want to do it all in a bunch and then your horizontal pictures all in a bunch. So you want to make two different actions for that. So a vertical um, action and then a horizontal action. So right now we're just going to do all vertical um, action right now. So next we're going to go to file, scripts, image processor. Okay, section one we're going to select the folder that, we, that where all of our pictures are at that we want to watermark. So I want to watermark everything in the Seattle workshop folder. Hit open. Now the second section is where you want to save your watermarked photos. So I'm going to create a new folder under Seattle Workshop folder and say watermarked photos. Create. And I'm going to hit open. Perfect. Now section three, if you want to resize your photos and make it smaller or make it bigger, you definitely can by checking resize to fit and then sizing it right here. But if you want to keep it as is, keep it unchecked. Now not, section four is the most important part. That's where we're going to select our action. So obviously we'll want the watermark photo, or I'm sorry, folder, and then blog ads watermark action selected. Okay, now we're going to hit run. So right now what it's doing is it's processing all the images and applying all the logo into my vertical photos. Again, it's going to be in the same section that I placed it in the first photo, so remember that it's going to be the same size, same place. Now it's done, so let's check our folder in the desktop. Perfect. Here's our folder that we created. And let's check it out. There it is. Here's one picture. Our second picture, third picture, fourth picture. And you'll see that the logo is at the same section in all the pictures. Okay? So again, if you want to do all horizontal ones, you have to create a whole new action for that. 
but that's it for today and um, please if you have any questions email us and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel thanks guys bye